Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm going to be reading the 48th episode of Captain Tsubasa. And this episode was motherfucking phenomenal. And let me just start out by praising the writing staff yet again. When they gave us doses of character development for Hyuga when he appreciated and analyzed the growth that the Toho Academy roster has. And then when um, Hyuga was smiling when he says, when he's praising his friends. So that was a nice dose of character development from the standpoint of Hyuga. You get to see some character development from the standpoint of Takeshi where he's more assertive because he tried to outdo Tsubasa and all that instead of just trying to pass away. So that was also another nice element about this episode too. So we're seeing growth from those standpoints and then simultaneously Aside from the character development we got, we got to see more characterization of Sabasa just doing shit like risking it all just to try to score a, a goal and all of that. And just to see his tenacity and like the facial expressions all animated super well. You can all tell their productions went all in this episode. So that was also nice from a character standpoint. And it was also nice to see everyone else cheering some of their previous opponents cheering for um, for Nakatsuko also. And it was nice to even see Ishizaki look at that and appreciate it too. So that was also nice things about this episode. It made this episode feel much bigger. And then aside from the character perspective, from a story perspective, it really, really increased the tension more. Because now we got some of the injuries that Wakashimasu suffered a... A while ago, they're starting to act up again now. And I like how it finally gave us context as to why he got injured. Because he was saving an animal and that's why he received the injuries and all that kind of stuff. So this episode had a lot of nice stuff, honestly, from a story perspective. Because even though it wasn't necessarily necessary for us to find out the reason as to why Wakishimazu got hurt. At least now, as an audience member, finding out that he did it to save an animal actually makes Wakashimazu seem like an even more, like an even more higher upstanding citizen. And that was some nice characterization even from that standpoint, even though it was a simple sequence, they did a nice job of painting the picture of the type of person that Wakashimazu is. So that's why I felt this episode did great from a story perspective, because we just found out information about the characters in just little sequences. And then Shin Wakashimasu's injuries, and then Tsubasa's injuries acting up. Oh man, that was just some painful shit to see, like. Because for one, even though it's painful to see, it actually ups the tension bar. Because for one, this might end up in a situation where if Wakashimasu loses this match, hell. Who knows if he's going to be able to play football ever again. Same with um, Tsubasa, so. That's going to increase the stakes at the very least. And another thing about this episode I really like from it raising the tension level. There's going to be some adversity that Sabasa is going to have to deal with because now that the injuries are really going to start acting up, this could help Sabasa get even more character because now that he's, the injuries are getting slightly worse, he's going to have to now figure out ways of dealing with um, scoring goals when he's suffering some major pain. So I kind of like that. It sets up Sabasa for some more character development. And simultaneously, I liked how in this episode we made a lot of plot progress because they went through, I believe, the first 15 minutes of the match. So we made some nice plot progression. And simultaneously, they both scored goals on each other, so it's 1-1. One, one. So that was also nice from this episode from a story perspective. And that's why I thought even from the story standpoint, it was good. We made some nice plot progression. And then, aside from that, this episode also did amazing from the animation standpoint. Yeah, almost everything popped, and then while there were just maybe like a minimal amount of still shots, some of the still shots were super hyper drawn that they felt, I felt like they were from, a, from the manga, just colored, and they looked really beautiful. So that was also another fabulous thing about this episode. One of the first few Countess and Boss episodes were like, damn, this still shot looks great, honestly. So that's what also helped elevate this episode to great heights in my book. Because the animation it had was fan fucking freaking fantastic. Like every goal and all that. 
So that was cool. And I liked how I had the opera at the top this again when Wakishimazu manages to touch the boss's shot, like grab it, and then it still goes in as if it's like, what the hell is this kind of wizardry? So that was also nice how this anime, the animators are like embracing the over of the topness of Captain Tsubasa. I feel like that makes the anime much, much, it gives it its own identity, it makes it much more enjoyable with the over the topness. And that was also another cool thing from the episode from the animation standpoint. Art was on point. If there's anything Captain Tsubasa does well each and every episode, it's the artwork and then the voice performances. I don't even think I have to talk about it. They were all amazing and great. Uh, like, seriously, the whole cast brought their A game. And taking all these factors into consideration, y'all yeah, probably, at least any of y'all that have seen my, a good amount of all the reviews I've done in Captain Some Boss, so all the 48, y'all yeah, probably know what type of fucking rating I'm gonna give this episode. 10 out of fucking 10. That's what I'm gonna give it. This episode was just exceptional, and I'm eagerly anticipating more. My goodness, yo. So anyways, guys and gals, this is my thoughts on Captain Tsubasa 48. Come down your thoughts in the comment section below about this episode. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more because I'm definitely going to be live reacting and reviewing to the next Captain Tsubasa episode. So, right. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.